I build railroad track for Union Pacific and a lot of it is the same as we did a hundred years ago with uh, sledgehammers and driving spikes with spike malls and uh, we have a lot of equipment now but a lot of it is very physical you know labor that I've been all over from Chicago to uh, California to Seattle to uh, Yuma Arizona and all points in between was shaking. The ride home, I didn't know what to do. So uh, I went home and like anybody, I looked up the procedure on YouTube. I decided that uh, I wanted a second opinion. Billy is a perfect example of the patients that benefit from this. Billy was very active. He walks track. He repairs track. It was tough to get through a day of work. I couldn't walk up a flight of stairs without uh, my legs bothering me. So it was getting away of, of my life, period. Billy was, couldn't do his job anymore. He was going to be put on essential medical disability. Uh, if he had to have a bypass, the chances are is that he wouldn't be back to work for several months, probably six months because of the, how active his job is. So for Billy, this was a game changer for him. He was able to have a procedure where he was outpatient. He came in, we did it, he went home. This allows us to get through the blockage, um, allowing us to then treat it with uh, different avenues like balloons or stents or atherectomy. And so the company has worked on, over the last well, three years now, getting a device that allows us to image the inside of the vessel and allow us to steer a catheter through these long blockages. And so uh, patients go home usually the same day. Some of them stay overnight. Um, they are back to their normal work schedule in about two weeks. And the reason why they're back at two weeks is we have to allow that puncture site in the groin, this very small puncture site, to kind of heal over. And we don't want them to do too much lifting uh, until that's healed over. Otherwise, patients are back to pretty normal activity the next day. That is one of the most satisfying things. That uh, getting someone back to working is literally one of my most satisfying things that I'm able to do. Oh, I am so thankful to him and the staff. I mean, uh, oh, they just made me feel so relieved and, and just so uh, comfortable, you know. So I was scared to death when I seen him, believe me. So a godsend.